I hadn't slept in a million years, searching through the endless transmission of news updates and conspiracy theories, trying to make sense of it all, skipping meals in my pursuit for the answers. The almonds kept the hunger at bay. The whole year was a blur, and I was the barrel of a lens trying to find focus. I hadn't spoken to my friend Mark in weeks. He's the type who's never taken anything spoon-fed to him in his life. He must have been a nightmare as a baby. But if anyone had a clue, it was him. You really need to find some company, Max. How's that dry spell go? No leads. Stop chasing so hard. Then you'll see how fast things start coming to you. Speaking of which, did you get those cookies I sent you? Unopened. Not much of a sweet tooth, I'm afraid. Come on, live a little! Things can't get any worse, right? See you when I get back, I guess. It was about as tasty as sand, but maybe it was time I took my mind off of things. The room turned to steam, a vortex of memories, dreams, and now, without any way to tell the difference, I fell. Out from the shroud, a lone door, as if it had always been there waiting for me. It was time 2020 finally answered for his crimes. I was judgment, and this joke of a year wasn't going to get away without telling me the punchline. It had all built up to this moment. The final door. I could almost hear the secret truths just beyond the cracks. You piece together a jigsaw and the final picture is you, finishing the same puzzle. A distorted reflection staring back at you. Well, who did you expect? Some caricature of a mastermind? You're not that creative. Tell me the truth. What's really been going on this year? Do you really think your problems are just going to poof into thin air after midnight? Once I'm gone, another takes my place. Listen, pal, whether you give me a real answer or not, once that clock hits 12, I'm ending you. Max, isn't it easier to point the finger at somebody else? What? It's not as scary, is it? Being able to blame something else for all your pain. After the year 2000, the end of the world has become a cliché. Everything is subjective. There are only personal apocalypses. He was wearing my patience, and it looked disturbingly familiar. All of your anxiety and sadness this year was a choice. Your choice. The information on your TV and your phone had no effect on you by itself. You decided to stay inside. You decided to cut yourself off from the world. You decided to overwork yourself, skip meals, ruin your sleep schedule, wash everything like a madman, let the panic of others consume your every waking moment. But I'm the bad guy, right? All of my paralyzing sorrow this year was of my own doing. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. But if any of that's true, then I can make you disappear right now. My choice, right? Time's up. Twenty twenty was all done. The sound of the noisemaker was the final exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released the party favor from my hand, and then it was over. Outside the freezing rain turned to snowflakes. I exhaled to watch my breath float up to the night sky, a moment of peace where time slowed down. Time wasn't your enemy, nor your ally. Life's problems don't disappear when you have a profound moment. Not on cue anyways. Like at the end of a movie. Plot holes. Loose ends. 
the world wasn't perfect. But I was alright.